Hi everybody, welcome back. Okay, I am finally posting my 2016 journal recap. Um, I did one for 2015, which I can link below where I actually talk about uh, the year's uh, finished inserts, um, any kind of thoughts that I have for certain inserts that I've used or, um, you know, just uh, things like that. And I, I know I'm a little late on doing this. Um, things have been a little chaotic and they will continue to be over the summer. So um, I'm really glad to just finally get this up now and talk to you about every journal insert that I finished for 2016. So I have everything in front of me um, just kind of squished in there. It barely fits. This is pretty tightly packed. For 2015, I finished uh, 16 inserts, 15-16, uh, because uh, the 16th insert was kind of a transition from 2015 to 2016, I believe. And this year, for or not this year, but this past year, so 2016, I have 22 inserts in total. So that's what you see here um, packed into this uh, bin right now. And I'm going to kind of slowly go through each one um, and just kind of uh, recap that way. For the most part, I think I did stick with... Um, did I? It seems like a majority of them are the 013 insert, which is the really thin paper that I like from Midori. Uh, Traveler's Notebook, because they did switch over to their name, uh, their new one. Um, but I did... I think the the random ones that you see are ones that I really, for the most part, wanted to just use up because I did have them in my stash. And I really did not want those, like these regular ones, to just go to waste. Um, and this is just the regular paper with the 64 pages. So, um, how am I going to do this? Let me figure this out because I should have thought about this earlier. Um, and I'm also enjoying tea too, so I'm going to kind of scoot that over. I'm drinking um, Herod's Earl Grey in case you're wondering. Okay, so maybe I'll just keep them in my lap while I do this. Alright, so 56, nothing special. I think I, I might have done some flips for some of these, um, so I'm not going to do that. Keeping the covers very simple, as you can see, I don't really decorate them, mostly because if I store them, I like to have them kind of slip in and out easily. Um, so if I do decorate them, it's usually just going to be flat stickers and, and the like. Um, 57, I had a Pan Am insert that I wanted to use up, so I definitely kept that very simple because I love the look of the Pan Am inserts. I think I still have a few left, which I am kind of hoarding now because they don't really make those anymore, so. And then 58, 59, nothing too special. Once again, I just kind of kept the decorating very simple, just using up some stickers and washi. Um... So, those are just going to slip in and out, I guess. Here I start to use up some of the 64-page regular inserts just because I had them. So that's 60, 61, 62, 63. Um, in case you're wondering how I number my journals, I started... I numerically numbered all of mine starting with the very first journal I ever had, which was when I was a kid. And so the numbers that you're seeing are not the number of inserts that I have in total, it's just the number of journals that I have. So I count each journal as, you know, a number after they've finished. And these are more of the 64 page journal inserts. This one, I don't remember where I got this insert from because it is, oh, it's still Traveler's Notebook, but it's grid paper. And this one was a very special one because I made this specifically for our road trip out to Washington when we moved from Wisconsin. And I had this one kind of planned out for quite a while. I had, I knew I wanted this image in the front and I used my Dymo uh, label maker 
and some kind of just collaging and washi. And this I used to pretty much document our trip here, which was very fun in our just first few days here. I knew I really wanted to use a grid paper um, format because I think I talked about this in my 2015 recap that I really liked the grid paper and I don't buy the inserts very often. So I think I bought that one specifically for this road trip, which was really, really fun. And so that one is um, one of my favorite inserts, I think. These, I think I did uh, flips of 66, 67, 68. Once again, very plain covers. And same for 69. And then I started using, uh, this is 70, insert 70, um, Taroko Shop paper, because I heard that, um, I heard a lot of good reviews of it, and it was the same kind of Tamoe River paper, so it's a super thin paper that I love to journal on, and I don't know, I, I think... I know they say it's the same kind of paper, but my pen, the usual pen that I use, the Uniball Vision pen, seems to write differently on this. And so, I mean, in a pinch, I would definitely use that insert again, but I, I think I'll still stick with the Midori insert, um, 013. Um, that came in two packs, so that was uh, 72, 71. Um, was just back to the 013 insert. And then this one was a trial run of the craft paper. So that was 73. I liked it. I really like the craft paper look. Um, it's just that it's thicker paper. So I think I would use this one more for, I think, travel. But I do like the look of it. It just looks cool, you know, just kind of collaging things and um, just I like it I like it a lot um, so I'll definitely be getting the craft paper insert in the future 74 back to my favorite insert and then here was another trial run I saw one of my friends um, use a black paper um, insert and my husband had found an Etsy seller who had some weekly planner inserts that he wanted to try out and I thought I'd throw in one of these black paper inserts just to try. Um, my friend had used white ink like a white gel pen on it which looked really cool but I love using silver on black. Um, I think it kind of goes back to like my high school days or something. So that's sub 75 and I put this really pretty image of like a birch tree trunk on there to kind of talk about the beginnings of winter. And I loved using the black insert. Um, I didn't collage so much because I really liked to see the, you know, silver gel pen on the paper. So I missed kind of the collaging aspects of it and I didn't want to like tape too much in because I didn't want to waste the paper but I am definitely going to be getting more black paper inserts. The only thing is is this is made out of very thick paper so I don't know if I can maybe just search on Etsy to find maybe a slightly kind of thinner paper because this is like cardstock almost. You can hear it. It's just very thick. I mean, there's not too many pages to it. So you can see how thin it is just with me not really adding that much bulk to it. And, um, but that was a really fun discovery and I very much enjoyed this. I'm definitely going to be looking into more black inserts. I really wanted to round out the last insert of the year. And so I transitioned briefly to a field notes size for number 76 and plus um, when field notes came out with these I was really excited to use one of these inserts uh, one of these um, notebooks and once again this just kind of reinforced that I, I very much like the larger scale journaling 
um, and not this. This more for like note taking or like story writing, but not for journaling. So, but still it was just fun to use this insert specifically. And that led into 77, which was the last insert for this year. And I kind of went all out for this one because I love Christmas. It's my favorite time of year. And I definitely filled this up with um, memories that I wanted to make sure that I had in here because I was kind of paring down my things. Um, if you've watched my stationary minimal minimalism videos. And I wanted to get those memories down into a journal so they weren't kind of randomly in a box. So that was the majority of this insert and lots of like Christmas collaging. But um, so that was the end of this year, uh, this past year, so 2016. And those are all of my inserts, that right there. <laughs> so this year I finished 22 compared to two, um, 2015's 16 or 15 or 16 inserts. And so this is quite a bit of journaling. I think one of the big differences of this year was I did a lot more collaging. I did a lot more artwork in my inserts. The 2015 year was a lot of like experimenting and then 2016 was a lot more getting back into art journaling and using a lot of my die cuts, watercolors, collage papers, and really just kind of having fun. And I think that's kind of where a, a large bulk of this is. The other large bulk of it, I think, would be me trying to memory keep a lot of the things that I was unpacking in all the different moves that we had. I had held on to boxes of just little bits and pieces, random photos, and I really made it a goal especially toward the end of the year here, where you can see a lot of the thicker bulk is, is of me just kind of making sure that they're in journals and, you know, taking down little notes and things that I could remember about those memories. So that way I wasn't holding on to certain things that I didn't need to be, or I was able to let go of a portion of that memory by just um, memory keeping the little bit that I did put in my journal. So that is um, 2016. I don't think there's really much for me to say. I still love the Traveler's Notebook. It's my favorite way of journaling, although I'm going to definitely see a change in 2017 because I've started to use other journals. I've mentioned this in my uh, stationary minimalism uh, video that I wanted to use up some of the blank journals that I had in my collection so I'm not holding on to things that I'm not using and I also have uh, some junk journals that I made that I really wanted to use so I'm not just hoarding them and just staring at them on a shelf so this year was all inserts um, compared to 2015 is when I trans uh, when I transitioned over to Midori specifically and then 2017, I'm going to see another change where I'm just using up what I have. So it's not just going to be inserts. So that'll be interesting and fun to see the progress of. Um, if you're curious to know how many inserts I've gotten through so far, specifically Traveler's Notebook inserts, I'm on six. Um, the sixth one being in my uh, notebook right now, which I am more than halfway through so that's that's where I am right now and then I also have uh, one junk journal that I'm using which is my Victorian uh, handbook which is right there I did a video on that where I did a junk journal flip through and then when that is done um, because I'm using that to journal other things um, that's separate from my everyday journal here I'm gonna be moving on to a different junk journal so, and that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed watching, and if you have any questions or feedback, let me know down below. And I am super happy with my journaling progress, I guess. I guess it's, I'm not really striving for anything, but it's really interesting to see how many inserts I've used this year compared to last year, and I'll 
definitely be uh, interested in seeing how many journals I complete uh, in this year to come. So I hope you guys are doing well and I will see you in my next video. Bye!